Hello, hello, hello. And uh, yeah, service is resumed. It's been a week. Um, the the passing of David Bowie it really got to me. I got to a lot of people, and I, again, I don't really don't really know why it lasted so long. Again, I just think you know. I don't know. It was a, it was an odd feeling. You know, I've, I've been upset by musicians and celebrities passing before, but. It was a real, I don't know, it was a real shocker. Again, I think it was because of the Black Star album coming and being engrossed in that over the weekend. And then it was a, like a double punch to the to the stern and it was a real boom. <laughs> and if Mr. Bowie had planned that, then, that, then that's great showmanship. He certainly um, made a mark. Um, so anyway, what did I do? Like every good respecting fan did, I went out and bought Bowie. I did that, and this is what's in this box here. Um, it's the, well, I'm going to tell you what it is, because you've probably read it on the title. It's the five years uh, vinyl box set from David Bowie. I know many of you wanted to see this when it came out, but um, budgetary constraints um, kind of put against it. But we had a good Christmas on the YouTube, on the YouTube adverts, so um, this allowed me to purchase this. And I don't have any Bowie vinyl in my collection. It's shocking, isn't it? Um, I had all the Ryko disc issues back in the day and then I sold them. Of course, I ripped them all first. Um, but, so yeah, this is my attempt at redressing the balance of the universe and uh, getting some Bowie into my life. So anyway, enough of the, of the chit-chat. Let's uh, cut our way in. Um, but yeah, it's good to see that people have been buying his albums and he's appearing in various charts around the world. Uh, it's really cool. And, uh, oh, typical. It's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? But um, what we'll do is we'll just uh, ease it out like that. Get rid of the box. Right, let's pull out the one. You don't want to be distracted by that. So yeah, this is it. This is the David Bay five years, 69 to 73 um, collection. And um, yeah, it features um, quite a bit of stuff in there. You have um, his first album, David Bowie, or AKA Space Oddity. Uh, Man Who Sold the World, Hunky Dory, one of my favorites. The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, Aladdin Sane, Pin Ups, that's the covers album. Um, and then you get quite a bit of live stuff too, live from Santa Monica, Ziggy Stardust, the motion picture soundtrack. I did actually own that once. I remember Woolworths had a sale and I think it was on sale for 99p and I did pick it up but I traded it in for something else many, many years ago. Um, the Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars 2003 mix. Um, and then we have Recall 1, which has a load of bonus stuff, and Recall 2 there. So it's a, it's a double album of, um, of extras, and I think there's even a book as well. So, let's, um, let's, let's do the do, shall we? <laughs> I, have, I have Swissy at hand. It's, it's unusual, this angle. This is, the, this is the angle I did the Queen unboxing. Yeah, I know a lot of you enjoyed that, so I thought I thought um, we'd, we'd we'd try it again <laughs> and get to see the kitchen and hear the uh, the boiler turn on and off uh, and everything. So anyway, let's make our incision. He's a professional, as old Swissy, and. Uh, Oh, it's a shiny, shiny box. It's a very shiny. Right. Oh, it's the best bit getting, getting the cellophane off, isn't it? It's the money shot. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's that done. Can't send it back now. There will be people out there that go, how dare you handle this box set in such a disrespectful way? You should use cotton gloves. There will be. They do it in the comments, you know. Oh, yeah. 
Right, so there we have it. And look, it's arranged. I don't know if you can see that. There they are. Meticulously arranged in order. These are being, I think these are being actually reissued separately. Um, is it? It's either later in the month or next month. Um, which, yeah, be be good. I think again, these are 180 gram vinyl. Again, you don't really uh, slide them out. Oh, dear. use your brains. There you go. Oh yeah, I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Uh, so, <laughs> this is the first album. Of course, you know that. Right. It's got. Again, I've never owned it, so I can't really compare it to anything. And. Um, Double gatefold, of course, with all the lyrics inside, so you can sing along. And uh, what do we have inside? We have. Oh, I see what they've done. They've done a sort of old fashioned. Oh, look at that. An old fashioned paper sleeve there for you. <laughs> I do wonder. And then you've got the, the more modern one. Uh, again, these are. These are. Oh, these are. Lovely bits of vinyl. He says, "Look," and he drops it and smashes it on the floor, and everyone starts crying. Uh, but there you go. So that's that's rather nice, isn't it? So uh, nothing else hiding there, is there? Can't see anything. So let's uh, let's put that back in there. And of course, they never go back in straight, do they? Do they ever? Do they? Fuck. And you end up with a bit of paper sticking out. Go in! That's it. Monkey. So that's that one. And of course, the next one up is The Man Who Sold the World with a very controversial a Bowie in a dress. So there you go. And it's got a slight, again, I don't know if you can pick that up there, but it's got a slight texture to it, which is nice. And, um, you know what we've got in here? Oh, is it another one of those? I'm not going to do that again. Another one of those bogus sleeves, but there you go. All very nice. Cool. And then, and now we get, now we mean business. It's of course the legendary Hunky Dory album, which has you know changes all pretty things, Life on Mars, Queen Bitch. Of course, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol, silver screen. Again, I think it's one of my early, favourite early Bowie albums. So I'm more a fan of the, you know, the Berlin period and his later stuff. But of the earlier, of the earlier career. Oh look, change of label, RCA. Um, kind of spoof label. Uh, this is probably my go-to Bowie, early Bowie. And now we have a Ziggy, a Ziggy play guitar. He played it left handed with spies from Mars. So I could, I could do it. Bowie's gone, but he lives in me. Um, I think he'd approve. <laughs> yeah, I've reviewed this one. Oh, this one's got an inner bag. See, it's actually got an inner bag with the, with the lyrics on. So you can sing along in your bedroom. There you go. There's the band. There's the spiders. And again, it's another RCA style label. Kind of clever that. Aping the RCA label. Very funny. Oh god. I hate. You know, you know with the cameras on, I can probably just get this back in really easy, but because the camera's on. This is what they want. This is what they're tuning in for. Go in. Going, you son of a. Uh, of course, you don't crumb everything, but. I hate you, Bowie. I hate you for this. <laughs> Get in. I'm sorry. You see, you're probably used to other more professional unboxers who cut away from such shenanigans, but you know me. And this is the this is the 2003 mix of it, which oh cool it's got a different album it's got a different take from the, the legendary sleeve. 
So what makes this different? I'm not a Bowie expert when it comes to this stuff. So why is this different? What have they done? Different mix, eh? To be played at maximum volume. And of course, there's an inner bag. This time, it's black. Look, black. And there's the band again. And of course, it's an RCA style label. And then I won't be able to get it back in the bag again. And everyone's going, fuck you, Darren. Fuck you for making such a hash of this. That's what editing's for. You could edit all this crap out. Oh, yeah, but where's the fun? Where's the fun? We're all in this together. So, um, I don't know if I've heard the 2003 mix. So that should be interesting. Uh, now we have uh, Bowie live at Santa Monica. Which is, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Bear with me. Oh, better show it to you first. So there it is. That's the front. And there's the back. Again, I am completely unfamiliar with this. Totally. So of course we have a couple of we have a couple of our custom inner bags, which are rather cool. See there he is. Doing his thing. Doing his ziggy thing. And then we have the vinyls themselves, and these have these have lovely labels, look. There's Mr. Bowie peeping out, upside down. Upside down Bowie. And, uh, and the same with that one. There you go. That's pretty cool. Just gotta get it back in the sleeve. I could just leave everything in a pile and, and then cut away, couldn't I? I could do that. In fact, do you know what? I might just do that, I might just cheat. Because <laughs> otherwise this will, be on, this will be taking forever. And now this is Aladdin Sane, not to be confused with Bob Cobbler. Uh, or Am Amad Dias. Amad Dias. You've got, you've got to see the cartoon. It's a great thing from Adam Buxton, really. Uh, again, another great album. Um, another classic album. And of course you've got the now legendary inner there. It's all about image, you see. It's all about image. Master of image with old Mr. Bowie. And we have the we have the inner bag, which has a, the, the, the lightning flash there. And a lovely bit of vinyl. Oh, go on, go on. We can do this one. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll come back to that. <laughs> and this is um, the motion picture start soundtrack from the... Um, and I remember having this, and I'll tell you, this is much better than the copy I had. This is, this is much thicker. In fact, I never had these um, inner bags. Mine was just plain paper bags. Always getting ripped off. Always getting ripped off. So there you go. So that's the front. And that's the back. And let's see what's inside. Yeah, so there you go. That's pretty cool. Let's put that in the bag as well. So, yeah, there we go. You didn't show us the inner bag properly. Ah, uh, well. There's probably other people out there that's already done this much better than I have. Yes. Oh. Um, then we have the Pin Ups album, which is him doing covers. That's Twiggy on the cover. He was a very famous model of the of the of the era of the age. Um, what have we got here? We've got um, CMD Play. I can't explain the Who again. The Who were very big thing on for for Bowie. Uh, Sorrow. That's probably my favourite track off the album. So I do love that. The riff, the sax riff on that is just fantastic. Um, but yeah, again, another iconic sleeve, all about image, you know, it's all about projection, and, well, there's actually an inner bag as well. Oh, no, there's actually, actually, no, there's an insert. Oh, insert, and one of those useless paper sleeves as well. So, um, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, 
Thanks, Brian. Oh, God. And of course, the RCA style Vinyl logo there. Um, no, I'm going to have great fun putting this all back in. And this is the recall. Um, recall one. And it's got um, Space Oddity, Mono Mix, Wipe Boy from Free Cloud, Regazza Solo, Gazza Solo, Pretty Star, Conversation Piece, Memory of a Free Festival, Parts 1 and 2, All the Mad Men, Janine, Holy Holy, Original Mono Single Version, Moon Age Daydream, the Arnold Corns Single Version, Hang On To Yourself Corns Version as well. Then we have Changes, Mono Single Version, Andy Warhol Mono Single Version, Starman Original Single Mix, John O'Malley Dance, the original single version. Uh, the Gene Genie, original single mix. And Driving Saturday, German single edit. And on side four, round and around. John O'Malley Dancing, sax version. Time, US single edit. Amsterdam, Holy Holy Spiders version. And Velvet Goldmine. They made a film called that. Do you remember that one? Uh, I think it was his name. Ewan, Ewan McGregor was in that, wasn't he? Um, there we go. So, that's nice. And what do we have inside? Oh my god. More bags, more inner bags. Ah. Right, so we have, look. Now if you can get that, you're getting that? It's plain on one side and there's some stuff on the other. And that's the same with this one. They've really, really pulled up the, out the stops. <laughs> and of course, uh, we, have, we have labels. And this one, look. This one is more of a like the old fashioned label, so you know which era it's from. That's clever. Nice, nice bit of design, eh? And if finally, there's a book. There's a book, and it's a very shiny book. And there he is looking all handsome and young. Forever young. And um, I'm just, just going to have a little look myself. Is that alright? Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, well, I never. Oh. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do my best," he said. "This this will be fun, doing this backwards. Uh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, you're getting this. You're getting this at the back. Zoom in. Put your photo face closer to the screen, and you'll see it. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's from nice pictures. I don't I don't think I've seen some of these. Uh, uh, Alternative, whoops, alternative album covers there. I don't know what the writing says, because it's too small to read on my little screen. But um, yeah, it's a nice companion, and wow, I can't wait for the next edition. Do you reckon the next edition will take in, take in the Berlin years? Because there must be another box set coming. And uh, this is simply super. Look at that. Oh. Getting a bit of getting a bit of shine on that, uh, but yeah, I'll have to check out the two thousand the now legendary two thousand and three mix of Ziggy play guitar. Shut up, Dan. That's what they will say in the comments. You people in the comments are so be so wicked. Break my poor little heart. Uh, there we go. Are we there yet? Yeah? I should have planned this better. You'll complain that you can't see anything. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well. Mustn't grumble. Whoops, nearly dropped it. Skip a few now just to just so they say, Oh, that's good. Well, you, you get the general idea, you get the general idea. It's a nice little work companion there. Um, so yeah, before I bore you witless, that was the Bowie Five Years box set. Now I've just got to get everything back in the box. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Um, we got the um, we got the Beatles vinyl stereo box set for Christmas. Um, if anyone's if, if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that because um, uh, 
I know everyone else has already done it, you see, so I don't really. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is to kind of commemorate Bowie's passing in a in a purely commercial and capitalistic way. Um, but yeah, it, it's really put me under a cloud this week, and you know, and I'm gonna enjoy digging the grooves, man, digging the grooves, and unleashing my inner Bowie. And I think we all need to unleash our inner Bowie. Um, you know and that Black Star album I don't know if I'll ever be able to review it <laughs> because he pulled a sly one he pulled a sly one on us on the reviewers uh, and apparently in the news they've been saying that there is other material out there so if, depending on which source you go to some say that there are five songs complete and some say that there are, there's enough material for another five albums an album a year um, for another five years. Oh, you see, I typed that together. Did you see that? That was expertly done. Without a script, without a script, without any cuts. Just, just jamming, jamming myself into your faces via the medium of the camera. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully it's inspired you to go out there and pick up the the box set. I managed to get this for the hundred and. Sixty-three pounds on Amazon. It was at its lowest. I guess everybody was bulk buying it, so the price went down. Um, but there's also the CD version available. If you search around, I think you can get the cheapest you can get that at the moment is about eighty pounds. Um, but prices go they go up and down because of his death. You know, there are a lot of people who are scalping. So, you know, you'll have to do your own homework. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Darren Lock. I've been looking at the five years, 1969 to 1973, vinyl box set by the late, great David Bowie. But of course, it'll always live on via the music and via the fans. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. There's only one more thing to say, and that is ta ta. And don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to uh, check out the social media. I'm on Twitterface. Uh, there's Patreon, patreon.com slash lock where you can throw coppers in the hat and I can spend your hard earned cash on stuff like this I've got to work on that that sounds wrong doesn't it, it sounds like I'm, I'm hustling also there's my music, yeah you've seen me I'm a dried up old has-been I do music that nobody buys nobody's interested in you can get that from music.darrenlock.com slash nothing <laughs> just music.darrenlock.com I don't know why I did the slash I just got carried away I think it's the, the lightning bolt slash uh, but anyway thanks for watching now go on clear off go on away with you